Good evening, Lawang Northern Samar. Yes, hello. Good evening, Tacloban. Good evening, Lawang. Good evening, Philippines. Yes. Good morning and good afternoon to some parts of the world. Yes. And you are now tuning into Kingdom, Kingdom Talk. Talk Philippines. And it is a Friday night here in the Philippines. So to Dr. Rick. Yes, hello, Dr. Rick. Good morning to yes, you. Yes, good morning to you. And uh, I am assuming that you have your coffee right now. <laughs> Amen. Yes. And also, thank you also to Sister Josephine from Bahamas. Yes, and also Coach Presi, the manager of Radio Datin 90.9. Law ang Northern Samar. Amen and amen. So go ahead. Coach so for Pesce. tonight, my dear Co Kingdom citizens and ambassadors, we have our guest. Mm -hmm. So our guest for tonight is from Stewart, Florida, and his name is Dr. Rick Kendall. Mm -hmm. Dr. Rick Kendall is the president of Global Embassy Network, or formerly the Body Network, mm -hmm. birthed in 1998 to interconnect ministers and ministries together mm -hmm. as a network of fifthly framed parts globally. Wow. Mm -hmm. Dr. Rick also leads the Destiny Group Mentor School where purpose, vision, and destiny is taken to the next level of God's kingdom revelation. Mm -hmm. yes. He travels extensively, speaking and empowers God's people to capture their kingdom purpose and destiny. Mm -hmm. yes. Dr. Rick Kendall and his wife, Mam Lise, are in their 47th year of marriage. Wow. wow. Three more years and the, uh, they will celebrate the golden, I think, yes. the golden years. I think it is really, it's a good thing to admire this two couple. Coach this person. couple, because, yes. You know, how many years? Uh, 47 wow. for that long year. Kingdom salute to you. Huh? Yes, and I Dr. see Ray. still the sweetness that they wow. have. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, yun naman ang dapat, Coach yes, amen, amen. Dr. Rick Kendall and his wife, Ma'am Lise, are in their 47th year of marriage and ministry so far. Mm -hmm. So, my dear Co-Kingdom citizens and ambassadors, may I have the honor to present to you Dr. Rick Kendall from yes. Stewart, Florida. Amen. Yes. Hello, Dr. Rick. Good morning. Good morning to you. Hi, Dr. Rick. <laughs> Welcome to Kingdom Talk Philippines. Yes, thank you. It's it's uh, great to be in the Philippines. Yes. You should be here. <laughs> yes. That's right. You should be here next year. <laughs> Absolutely. She's she's out and about, but she's uh, she's definitely listening, I'm sure. Oh. Amen. And I saw Dr. Pepe Ramnath. Is here with us. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Awesome. From yes. Tobago. <laughs> hallelujah. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Praise uh, God. I think this is the, the 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 kings and the ambassadors of the kingdoms are gathering right now to hear the message that you want that yes. God is putting put into in your, your heart. heart. Yes. Doctor Rick. Amen. Amen. Well, again, happy anniversary. Uh, thank, thank you, Doctor Rick. Very much. Because you've been part of that anniversary. Yes. When we start this kingdom talk, you're, you've been there. You've been there. You, Amen. You, you, wit you witness our, I believe before it was a dim. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. And, and the best is yet to come. That's Amen. right. Hallelujah. Yes. And we are excited for that best that is coming. Wow. Amen. Amen. You know, I just want to say to you both that I, I so enjoy the guests that you bring on because they are truly kingdom representatives. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I also want to share with you that uh, you both are, are powerful kingdom representatives. Wow. And wow, the words you. that you share, um, I mean, sometime you might need to just do a whole radio show where just the two of you share because mm -hmm. you have tremendous wisdom that comes through and and uh, uh you definitely have a voice wow. that god is using in this this time 
Okay, thank, we'll thank, try. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Rick. <laughs> yes, thank you for encouraging us also, Amen. Dr. Rick. Wow. Oh. Amen. Amen. Okay. So well, would you like me to go ahead and get yes, into something here? Yes, yes go ahead. Uh, this is your show. <laughs> Because Indigenous every time, time we have guests, <laughs> the, the, the Kingdom Talk program is for the ambassadors. Yes. Every time we invited a guest, Amen. I told them that this is their show, mm -hmm. Dominate the Airwaves. And Amen. we are just here, a vessel. And, yes. <laughs> Amen. Well, it's an honor to, to be on with both of you and, and uh, to be fellow citizens. And I guess to, this morning what God put on my heart is something that he's had on my heart for uh, a couple of months now mm -hmm. specifically, and that is that uh, I guess I would call it the potential of kingdom citizenship. Mm -hmm. wow. uh, I, I think too many uh, are living too far below their potential. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, in the, in the word potential mm -hmm. is the word potent. Wow. Yes. <laughs> yes. And, right. and, and potent is powerful. Wow. Amen. <laughs> so, I mean, in the world's definition of potential, it, it might mean, you know, could be great. Yeah. But in God's definition of potential, it, it is literally the power or the dunamis or the, the, the potent ability wow. that he's put inside of his people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so a, a scripture that we're very familiar with is Matthew 6 33 one of my favorites yeah mm -hmm. and you all know it very well mm -hmm, yeah <laughs> but it's seek first yeah. seek first mm -hmm. the kingdom of God mm -hmm, yeah. but he didn't stop there but yeah. he says the way you can seek it is is righteousness mm -hmm, that's right so he says he says seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness yes. And all these things shall be added unto you. Yeah. And that scripture there, God just kind of arrested me and said, this is a definition of potential. Wow. wow. Because when we seek first the kingdom or his realm of government, mm -hmm. a lot of people are seeking a kingdom, but they're not seeking his. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so it won't work unless you seek his righteousness. That's yeah. right. And so if people want to write this down as a note, the word righteousness, of course, have many definitions, but I want to kind of center on one that maybe we don't think of very often, mm -hmm. and that's citizenship. Yes. So really, you could say, seek first his kingdom mm -hmm. and his citizenship. Mm -hmm. uh, because it says, then all these things shall be added unto you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it doesn't mean that it doesn't mean now, oh, good, I'm a citizen, so now I'm going to live on welfare. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> you know, it, it, it doesn't mean it's added unto me like I'm just sitting here getting all this welfare. Mm -hmm. But what it means is now through citizenship, God's given me authority that will draw mm -hmm. things to my wealth. Wow. wow. Hallelujah. And this is so important because. Everything we need, you all know this, everything we need is in us. Yes, wow. that's right. God has already put that powerful potential mm -hmm. on the inside of us. Mm -hmm. So then everything we need for our assignment is drawn to us because we have, we live in that authority. Wow. Right. So I, I think that people, as I started off they, saying, they are living too far below their potential because they don't know who they are yes they don't know uh they don't know what they have mm -hmm. they don't know uh that god is already empowered mm -hmm. and infused in them his very name and nature uh -huh. so i put it this way uh coach uh, ariel and coach christy mm -hmm. I, I put it this way just being a citizen mm -hmm. does not mean we're walking in our full potential mm -hmm. that's right because, you know, there's citizens of your country, mm -hmm. and there's citizens in my country, mm -hmm. but they're in jail. Ooh. Hallelujah. <laughs> but they are citizens. <laughs> they're citizens, but because they're not living to their full potential, they did something yeah. stupid or wrong, mm -hmm. uh, they're in jail. Yeah. 
And so I think too many Christians, we say Christians are kingdom citizens. Mm -hmm. They're they're in a jail of their own making mm -hmm. because they've not they've not walking in that authority. So uh, just being a citizen doesn't mean we'll walk in our full potential. Mm -hmm. But being a uh, but having citizenship is different. Yes. yes, because being a citizen, as you all know, is a legal inhabitant of a country yeah. or city. Wow. Yeah. But citizenship. Citizenship is activating the authority you have and the rights you have as a citizen. Wow. Mm -hmm. Isn't that a great thing? Yes, yes. Yes, <laughs> that's right. Hallelujah. <laughs> so citizenship citizenship is a declaration mm -hmm. of our freedom. Yes. Wow. John John eight thirty six, if the Son therefore shall make you free. You should be free indeed. Mm -hmm. Yes. But a lot of people mis misquote that scripture. Mm -hmm. They say, if the son sets you free. Mm -hmm. But you know, if he just sets you free, you're likely to get back in prison again. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> That's right. But he didn't, he didn't just set us free. He makes us free. In other oh, words, yeah. I am now, I am made into a whole new creation mm -hmm. as a citizen with citizenship mm -hmm. Hallelujah. so now i'm walking in kingdom authority mm -hmm. so i'm activating my freedom as a citizen yes wow. amen mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so free freedom really defined is free dominion free. to free conduct dominion. the king's government as ambassadors wow. <laughs> yes <Whoa>. hallelujah <laughs> So when people, the, you know what the, the devil is so afraid of is that people are going to tap into their full potential mm -hmm. because, because he knows that once they do that, they will walk in the authority of royalty. Ooh, wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it says in uh, Philippians 3.20, mm -hmm. our conversation is in heaven. Yes. And... When God directed me to that that scripture, I'm I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. so what does that mean? <laughs> I ask God a lot of questions. I don't know about you guys, but I'm asking Him questions yes. all the time. And He answers. <laughs> and He answers that. Yeah, He says, "I want you to ask questions. Mm -hmm. That's how you'll find out." Yeah. But mm -hmm. but I said, okay, what does that mean? Our conversation is in heaven. Does that mean our talking, our conversing with God, or what does that mean? Mm -hmm. And he, he impressed on my heart is to look up the word conversation, mm -hmm. uh, the definition of the word conversation from the Greek and the Hebrew. Are you ready for this? Mm -hmm. yeah. The word conversation is citizenship. Wow. <laughs> so I said, wait a minute. It's not just talking. It's walking. Mm -hmm. yes, it's, yes. it's being governed by the authority of the king. Mm -hmm. uh, appointed release so another word for conversation is citizenship mm -hmm. to conduct as an administrator of a constitutional authority Ooh. releasing the king's commonwealth mm -hmm. wow let me say that again mm -hmm. <laughs> i have been given by the seal of the king mm -hmm. the ability the authority to conduct his government as an administrator of constitutional authority mm -hmm. that releases the king's commonwealth. Yes. Wow. Talk about reaching our full potential. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. You know, here, you know, before I remember when, before I began to understand uh, the government of the kingdom, of course, I, I thought, you know, I'm just so unworthy. I'm just, you know, I'm just, mm. Uh, not worthy of everything God. And God said, will you please stop saying that? Yes. <laughs> yes. He says, please stop saying that because I made, I made you in my image. Wow. <laughs> Hallelujah. Exactly. <laughs> and he said, sin may have disfigured you, but it never designed you. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh. He said, I made you in my image. So stop calling yourself unworthy. Wow. You now have been made worthy. Yes. Not only worthy, but now you've come back into the original blueprint of your design. Mm -hmm. 
Whoa. And so he says, I, I am not, no longer, I feel like this is what he's saying in this time to, the, to his citizens. Um, he's saying, you, you have to move from just being citizens into citizenship. <laughs> because now you need to activate uh, as representatives of kingdom authority. You need to become the ambassadors, mm -hmm. you know, doors that that uh, ambassadors mm -hmm. that open places in the earth for my kingdom authority. Ooh. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Wow. <laughs> there's too many latent citizens. I call it that. You know, there's too many. I don't mean lazy, but they're latent. That means they're inactive. Mm -hmm. They're in prisons of their own making and they're being governed by. Egyptian or Babylonian or Roman Empire governments, I call them. You know, it's mm -hmm. it's systems of the world that that well, we got to go according to this, and I can't do it because I got to you know. But God says, no, no, you're a citizen of another country. Mm -hmm. Yes. So okay. stop living so far below your potential. Hallelujah. Wow. I mean, you know, on this anniversary that you all are celebrating, by next year. You will be at such a higher level oh, wow. than where you are now yes. because because you're activating your potential mm -hmm. oh, uh, in God. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because we're partakers of His divine nature, that means now He's always going to bring us into new dimensions. Wow. Wow. And Hallelujah. so next year, next year you'll be looking back on this year and say, "Oh my Lord, yes. look, look at where we've come." <laughs> <laughs> we always do that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah, me and, too. And so, it always keeps us am go ahead. Uh, amazed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, and and the thing the thing is a visionary. Mm -hmm. uh, I tell people that a visionary is never really here. Mm -hmm. They're yeah. always where they're going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and they right. only come back here long they, they only come back here long enough to tell you where they are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so so we're always living in the potential that is really biblically called promise. Mm -hmm. yes. And so the promises of God, who is the king, who seals it with his signet, wow. are yes and amen. Mm -hmm. So Jesus said something, and I guess I kind of kind of conclude with this. Jesus said something that every time I read it, it makes tears come to my eyes. I'm like, oh, God, wow. This is amazing. Yeah. He said in Luke twenty two twenty nine, I appoint unto you a kingdom. Wow, <laughs> hallelujah. Every time I read that, I'm like, God, you're talking to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, <laughs> the the movie, you're talking to me. Yes, personally. <laughs> you know, and, and we know that the word kingdom in the Greek is basilia or base mm -hmm. of rule. Mm -hmm. So he's saying, I'm appointing unto you in my father's kingdom. A base of rule, mm -hmm. a sphere of influence, mm -hmm. wow, wow. dominion of deployment, wow. <laughs> as my father appointed unto me. Mm -hmm. I'm, wow, Lord, you mean the way God appointed unto you? <laughs> You're appointed <laughs> unto me? <laughs> well, guess what? I better get my act together and get up and start believing something. <laughs> 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 so I've been appointed to my blueprinted potential. Yeah. And the the biblical word for potential is power. Mm -hmm. So let me give you this list that is really not just a list, but I hope it will help mm -hmm. your, your listeners uh, if they could just write this down because this is God's process mm -hmm. for reaching our full potential. Here it is. Mm -hmm. First, it begins with purpose. And Greek word for purpose is prothesis, mm -hmm. or the pro to our thesis, the pro to our story. Mm -hmm. So it begins with purpose, who and why we are. Mm -hmm. Then the process goes to being perfected. Mm -hmm. I'm becoming. Mm -hmm. I'm becoming. I'm coming into who I really be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> so I am perfect design but i'm becoming perfected in that design wow. so there's purpose then i'm being perfected 
by prophetic promise. <laughs> so that prophetic process brings me to the promise. Mm -hmm. So I'm purposed, I'm perfected, I'm prophetic by promise, mm -hmm. the absolute premise of who I am yes, to yes. take my position, mm -hmm. to take my position, my place, my stature, mm -hmm. to manifest his power. Yes. So I'm purposed, I'm perfected, mm -hmm. I'm prophetic, I'm promised, mm -hmm. I'm positioned, I'm and manifesting his power. Mm -hmm. So the one more thing that will let me know that I'm in the process of potential. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for this? Yes. Purpose, promise, perfected, promise, position, power. Are you ready? Yes. The, the last P is problems. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it it is in the last? <laughs> potential is not confirmed by our gifts, but by problems. Mm -hmm. Because whenever potential is being processed, problems will come. Yeah. But they, they come in the form of adversaries or obstacles. But God said, I'm actually confirming your potential mm -hmm. by facing these problems to show that you can overcome. Yes. yes. So first Peter four twelve says, Beloved, think it not strange the fiery trial which is to come on you as though some strange thing happened unto you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but rejoice in as much as you're partakers of Christ's sufferings, yeah. that when his glory shall be revealed, you may be glad with exceeding joy. Mm -hmm. First John five four whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. Wow. Yes. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even mm -hmm. our faith. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. I kind, of, I kind of think of it this way. You, uh, Coach Ariel and Coach Brissy, you all are, I'm comparing you to rockets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the potential in you is like a rocket. And you know when they show pictures of a rocket re-entering the Earth's atmosphere? Mm -hmm. The potential and the power of that rocket changing the atmosphere wow. results in the fire and the sparks uh, that disturbs the current state of that atmosphere mm -hmm. because the rocket is introducing a new thing into it. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes we think we think problems uh, I, why am I facing problems? And God says, that's because you're changing the atmosphere. Wow. You're changing yes. the environment and your, po mm -hmm. your potential is resetting the design mm -hmm. back into my original blueprint. Wow. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. That's a powerful word. <laughs> Amen. So, you know, my prayer is that we'll, we'll, yes, we're citizens, but let's go ahead and become activated in our citizenship mm -hmm. yes and i pray that's a blessing to your your listeners today yes, wow. yes that is powerful really so when we experiencing uh, another level of uh, problem uh, we will we mm -hmm. need to think that this is another level of a realm of, of in increase also yes, <laughs> yes. potential yeah because we didn't like that last one, you know, <laughs> in, in confirming. But if your purpose is perfecting and your prophetic is a promise mm -hmm. and is setting you in position of power, mm -hmm. you will immediately encounter problems. Mm -hmm. But that's okay yeah. because you've overcome already. Amen. You've changed the atmosphere for his glory. Hallelujah. <laughs> that's a great word. We thank changed the atmosphere. Happy anniversary. Yes, <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, sir. Hey. hey, man. Well, we love you all so much and just so thankful for the work you're doing and how you persevere and you you just keep pressing through. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I can't wait for you to come to America as oh, well. Wow. And, um, <laughs> And uh, the things God has ahead for both of you is wonderful. And we do thank God for Nancy yes. as well. Yes. And, and, mm -hmm. uh, and thank you, Rendent Rendentor, is that how you yes. say it? Yes, Rendentor. And all the rest of y'all. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we're all family and 
and when one rejoices, we all rejoice. And wow. so we just thank God for you. Thank you, Dr. Amen. Rick, for that wonderful time. I know it's morning your time. Do you have your coffee now, sir? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I see you, you know me well. Yes. Yeah, I got my copy right here next to me. <laughs> yes, because every time also I have a copy in, in, in the morning, I, I remember you. Yes. <laughs> every time well, I look at you, know, <laughs> you know what? Uh, well, you know that scripture that says that the Holy Ghost quickens us with our coffee. I'm sure it's in there somewhere. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And uh, we really thank you, Dr. Rick, for being a part of this Amen. program. Amen. Since uh, last year when we started this program, you have witnessed everything, our Amen. the transition, and we really thank you for being a part of this journey that we have for the mandate that we have. Amen. And extend, it's wonderful to see God working through you. Yes. Extend our best regards to Mamlis Kindal. Yes, I will. God bless you all. Yes. And we'll talk again soon. Yes. yes. And maybe you. someday God see, bless. You, see, you, see you soon, maybe in the Philippines. Yes. You should be you should be here or there. You should be here, Dr. Rick. <laughs> yes. That's right. Amen. Amen. I'm looking forward to seeing seeing you both face to face yes yes, yes. and we too dr amen. rick and for now thank you dr rick amen. and bye for now amen mm -hmm. god bless bye-bye bye-bye okay. wow hallelujah that was dr rick kendall from stewart florida uh, you know I, I every time i hear this man i i i discern the humbleness of yes. his heart coach yes the humbleness of mm. this man is Old, really uh, although he 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 almost he reads everything in his ministry he go with dr miles mm -hmm. sabi nga wala kang maamoy na kayabangan yes sabi. makikita mo yung humbleness ng kanyang mm -hmm. puso coach presi the humbleness of, of of the heart of this man really is uh, is amazing, amazing and mm -hmm. very genuine for That's right. Amen. And That's why uh, in Kingdom Talk, uh, you know one thing I pinagpapasalamat ko sa Kingdom Talk because uh, we encounter so many uh, good people in this program. Not only good people, but right people. Yes. Coach uh, yeah. nila yes coach and I thank God for giving us this opportunity because mm -hmm. uh, I think if we don't have Kingdom Talk program, we cannot reach these people. Yes. We cannot be connected with these people. Mm -hmm. And really that if God gave you a mandate, you will step out into the supernatural. Mm -hmm you will experience the supernatural things that God is willing to let you experience. Yes, and it is beyond your imagination. imagination. That's right. Because, because this is what God has done in our lives. Yes. Never in our lives that, that we will uh, meet uh, Dr. Nancy, Dr. Hick, Dr. Rick, and, this, uh, uh, and so many kingdom ambassadors, kingdom ambassadors. Sir Charlie Masala. Because yes. what we are dreaming before is just to have a radio show, having some broadcast within the city of Tacloban, mm -hmm. but God really uh, supersede our uh, expectations. Maybe God said, Sabi mo ha, Coach Ariel, na ano ka ba? Hindi ganun lang kaliit yung plano ko. It's not that too small. Mm -hmm. Yes. But I have a big plan and a greater plan for you. And now here we are. We bring all the glory to our king mm -hmm. who gave us this mandate, who, trust, who trusted us in this mm -hmm. uh, program, Kingdom Talk. And uh, Th This is not our work. This is yes. his work. Coach yes, President. because uh, we just do our part. Mm -hmm. We're just enjoy enjoying every Kingdom Talk program here. And uh, serving because, yes. all the kingdom ambassadors. Yes, because we're, we're learning from mm -hmm. these people. Yes. Uh, could you imagine? If, if, well, Monday, we have kingdom ambassador who will share to us a message. Mm -hmm. In Wednesday, another kingdom ambassador. Yes. In Friday, Friday. sometimes in Saturday, we have. Yes. So we, we, I think we are so blessed with Express because almost... Uh, every other day, we heard a kingdom message, message. that directly 
uh, put into our heart because we are we have a headphone. Mm -hmm. The moment we listen to the word that they release, it will come into our heart. Downloaded. Yes, and mm -hmm. we are so blessed. And I encourage everyone to keep on growing and understanding the message of the gospel of the kingdom because the moment we keep on growing and prepare ourselves, uh, God will put at, uh, us into a right place where mm -hmm. he can use us mightily and boldly mm -hmm. uh, if we will allow him to to our potential to be released so that yes. we can use it and we really not need. to serve ourselves God's presence because mm -hmm. the purpose of potential is not to serve ourselves but to serve but to serve to other people yes, to add value right. mm -hmm. to, to other, other people. people just like what uh, uh Dr. Kevin says yes that, adding va value to, to other, other people. people and that yes. would be our goal coach yeah mm -hmm. that's the reason why we're having this program to, to let everyone know that they are valuable in the yes. eyes of God. Amen. And everything yes, to the king. is to the king. Yes. All the glory, the honor belongs to the mm -hmm. king. And this is your Coach Pressy. And Coach Ayer. And we'll be saying God bless more kingdom favor and have a great night and have a great kingdom day. Kingdom salute everyone. to everyone. Bye-bye and we love you. Kingdom salute to everyone.